Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel, Tech15. Today I'm going to be telling you about a new digital storytelling tool called My Storybook. If you would like to visit My Storybook, you simply go to mystorybook.com and you will be there. This is an app as well as a web tool. Now, in order to get started, you can go to create a storybook right here in the middle of the page, or you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on new storybook. You can create a storybook without any sign in, without any sign up. But if you would like to save your storybook in your library, or if you'd like to save all of your students' stories in your library with one teacher or librarian sign up, you just simply go right here to login. So just remember if you'd like to save the stories, but if you would like for students just to create and have fun and experiment with my storybook you just simply go to my storybook create a storybook the very first time you sign in or click on create a storybook it's going to give you this tutorial to kind of take you through nine steps of how to create a storybook very quick very easy or you can click on the X and you don't even have to do that you get a first storybook if you don't want that you can click on my storybook or you can get rid of that you can highlight this and I'm going to call my story my friends and then from there I can choose my scene I can pick buildings I can pick the sky I can pick the forest water I'm going to go for indoors I'm going to pick a room sure why not I've got the kitchen I'll go for the park and then from there, if I want to pick items, and items include people, characters, whatever you might want. And I'm going to choose, you do have the option of bringing in your own images if you wish. And I'm going to actually bring in people. I'm going to look at all items. And I'm going to scroll down because I know they've got different children and young people and adults and they've got all different types of characters we can move around one more and just for fun i'll put a bird in the tree that's an awfully big bird i'll make him a little smaller there we go all right and from there if i need text for this page, I can say once upon a time, if that's how I want to, to start my story, or my friends and I like to play in the park, or whatever I might like to say. And then I can pick my font, I can pick my colors, I can pick my size. This is tiny, I'm going to make that big, and then I'm going to add it to my story. And there we go. And from here, we can continue on. And so I can add a page. I can take away a page. I can do whatever I want. And from here, I've got different parts of my story. I can add a page to the beginning. I can add a page to the end. I can move pages around if I wish, however I might want those to go. And so whatever I'm interested in, in adding pages, taking away pages, adding in information, taking away information. And from here, if I want, I can save. I can sign in, I can save my story and show it off on any type of social media, Pinterest or Google Plus if I wish. And I have all of these options. If I'm not happy, I can just as easily delete it. I can draw if I want, if I'd like for it to go with the story that I'm telling, as well as adding in more images, pictures, pieces of the story, pages, so on and so forth. This works really well for individual, group, collaborative, or whole class storytelling. And this is just a very quick, simple introduction of how to use my storybook, how to put things together in my storybook, can be used for all different age levels, but really great for elementary grades. And just wanted to show you this really cool new digital storytelling tool. Thanks so much, and keep an eye on Tech15 for more videos coming soon. Have a great day.